Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. <laughs> if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting the like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too, and let's just crack on with today's first story. Now, today's first story comes from NotBXLLS444 and says, Am I the asshole for walking out of my birthday dinner? after my sister and her boyfriend announced they were getting married. This was a couple of weeks ago, but I still think about it. I, 16 female, had my sweet 16th a couple of weeks ago. Nothing too crazy, but my parents and my extended family all came over and we went out to a nice restaurant that my parents had booked. A lot of my family, cousins and nieces and nephews were there, so it was a lot of people. After we ate dinner and it was time to blow out my candles, my mum insisted I open some of my presents so I don't have to carry them home. My aunties, uncles and grandparents gave me my presents. After opening their presents and saying thank you and that, my older sister and her boyfriend gave me their present. Inside their box, they gave me was a will you be my maid of honor card on top of the present. I was obviously confused and looked at them with a weird expression on my face. My mum came over to look in the box as well and she loudly said, You're getting engaged! My sister squealed with excitement and told us about her proposal and how they were already wedding planning. She said that it was the perfect time to announce their engagement since all our family was here. When my sister asked if I was going to say yes, I just nodded and excused myself to the bathroom. No, I didn't go to the bathroom. I ended up walking out and went to a nearby park. A couple of hours passed by and my dad pulled over to the curb and told me to get in with him. I expected him to yell at me, but he ended up taking me out for ice cream. We just sat at the lake and just talked. When I got home, I saw my cake on the counter and my mum got up and started yelling at me about how I wasted money, wasted my family's time. My sister and her boyfriend came out and told me how mean I am for doing that to them. My sister ended up saying that my birthday wasn't as important as her wedding and my mother agreed. My dad told my sister and her boyfriend to get out and ended up talking to my mum about how they could have checked with me beforehand instead of announcing it. So, am I the arsehole? I never understand people who do this who think it's a good idea, especially as a surprise as well. I mean, there's one thing to go up to OP in this story and say, do you think at the end of, you know, your celebration or something, we could could mention this just while the family's together. I mean, I still wouldn't be able to do that myself, but, you know, people might... Think a bit better of it but to know you're going to someone else's birthday or whatever event it may be you're going to an event that's about someone else and you think this is my moment this is the moment i'm going to stand up and tell everyone about my i don't know i'm getting married a pregnancy announcement job promotion or whatever the hell it may be what goes through your mind to think that's going to be a good idea and not think about the person whose day it is and think oh what are they going to think if i do that Why don't people do that? I don't get it. Your dad can obviously see what's going on and finds it unacceptable. And I wonder how much of this has gone on in the past. The way your dad reacted says it kind of says to me that it may not have been the first time. But then for your mum and sister at the end to say, you know, your birthday is not important as her wedding. But Queen Potato Tomato says not the arsehole. They hijacked your celebration and made it about them. If they wanted to announce it with everyone present, they should have done the right thing and asked you first. Absolutely classless. Reverbait says, anyone else suspect the mother knew? Especially with her getting OP to open the gifts then and there. Not the asshole. it sucks when milestone birthdays come second fiddle to other people's egos. JW says, not the asshole. it's extremely entitled and selfish to think that As someone else has gathered the family already, it's the perfect time to announce your news. No, it isn't. The family is gathered precisely to celebrate someone else's life event. You don't hijack that for yourself. Another commenter says, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say everyone sucks here. It was your birthday, yes. Your sister made a cute gesture to which you could just say something like, oh my God, I will congrats on the engagement and go on with your night. It feels a bit self-centered to consider it as something mean-spirited and something taken away from your limelight. Princess, chill. No one is stealing your sweet 16. The aftermath, I think, is why everyone sucks here, because they didn't handle your fit well. Another comment says, I don't know. I just don't understand this concept people have about attention. This must be some kind of first world problem. People don't have really things to complain about, so they find stuff like this. 
And one more comment from Amson09 who says, not the asshole. Tell your sister she's so entitled and classless. Can't wrap my head around a full grown adult hijacking a minor special celebration. What an attention seeking asshole, both her and her husband. So was your mother? I bet she knew what was going to happen. That's why she fully supported your asshole of a sister. Your dad got the brownie points because he's got your back. It would be pretty funny though if you read this out loud to your sister, brother-in-law, and mother and how we all see them as entitled, selfish, and assholes. And there was further comments on this one. Many comments saying about it being an overreaction from OP and, you know, the attention shouldn't all be on her, etc, etc. And it's just like a total overreaction. But it was an overwhelming, not the asshole in the end. But I kind of just feel it shouldn't have got to that point to begin with. When you're going to someone else's birthday celebration or whatever it is, don't you think, oh yeah, I'm not going to announce my event at their event because it's just not fair. It really shouldn't have got to that point to begin with, in my opinion. But to a commenter ask info, out of being nosy, did they get you an actual birthday gift or was your presence in their wedding the gift that they gave you? OP replies him basically just a shitty box with a maid of honor card and little accessories she wanted us to wear on our wedding day. Kind of like stuff you'd put to give to your bridesmaids as well if that makes sense. Another commenter says, you did not explain why you left or what did you talk about with your father? OP replies saying I left because I was upset. Not trying to sound like a brat or anything, but everyone's attention just turned towards my sister and her boyfriend slash fiance. Even though it was my birthday, most people look forward to their sweet 16th. I just had to get out of there because I knew I'd cry. My dad and I just talked about what happened. He asked if I was alright and was telling me that him and my mum didn't even know about her engagement. Another commenter says, did you confirm that your mum knew that your sister was going to do this because she sucks and I want to talk to your dad and show him these comments. He seems solid and your mum sucks, not the asshole. Damn girl, I feel so sorry for you. What a shitty thing your sister and mum did. OP replies saying my mum denied the fact that she knew anything about my sister's engagement as they were arguing about it non-stop. Commenter says, so was your mum mad at your sister as well? OP replies saying no, she thinks that it was a nice surprise and that I should have been appreciative instead of walking out and wasting everyone's time. OP goes on to say, biological sister, her and mum have always been close, but I'm close to my sister. It's just that if things didn't go her way, she'd always tell my mum. Someone asks, what's your sister's age? And Opie replies, 26. A commenter says, did you tell anyone that you were going to the park? Because if you didn't, that's a really shitty and immature move. You completely gloss over that in your account of the evening. But if you did let your family panic about where you were, and I imagine you did, otherwise I can't see your dad leaving you there for two hours. You're an asshole, regardless of anything else that happened. And if you're thinking, yeah, well that serves them right, Spoiling your sister's moment as revenge because she spoiled yours isn't okay. It just means you're both assholes. OP replies saying no, I didn't. The commenter goes on to say, so how many times did they try to call you? How many voicemails did they leave? How close were they to calling the police by the time you decided you'd let them suffer enough? Your title should really read, am I the asshole for disappearing and freaking out my whole family because my sister is a bit of a dick who announced her engagement at my birthday party? And the answer is yes, you're the asshole. OP replies saying, the park from the restaurant was about a two minute walk. Some of my cousins were with my aunt and uncle and they were getting bored so I was at the park with them. No voicemails. My aunt texts my parents letting them know I was with them as they assumed everyone had just left and just let them know I was with them. A couple of hours was an exaggeration although it felt like a couple of hours it was more or less 30 minutes. Commenter says, right in that case, not the arsehole. I'm deleting my previous comments as, as long as they knew where you were and you didn't give them the fright of their life. Whatever. You're allowed to walk out if your sister pisses you off. Commenter says, are you still planning on being maid of honor after what she did and said to you? Her fiance too. OP says, definitely not. It's a huge responsibility to be a maid of honor in a wedding. Help planning the wedding as well. I think they take care of the bridal party or whatever as well. I've got no clue on how to plan a wedding, especially at my age, but I'll probably be one of her bridesmaids. The commenter says, I would like to know what the rest of the family thought of this as are they on your sister's and mother's side or on your side? OP replies saying my sister and her fiance received text from my grandparents and a few aunties and uncles saying it was a shitty move to pull. They should have asked before announcing their engagement. Although they are happy for my sister and her fiance as a wedding is a big deal. They just said that it wasn't the right time as she wouldn't like it if someone announced that on her birthday. But nobody's on any side, and they moved on from it. Another commenter says, did they apologize to you though? Your birthday isn't important. 
the fucking day you were born. Opie replies saying, nope, I'm not expecting them to. What's done is done. So then Opie goes on to update the post, which says, I'm grateful for all the comments and your opinions. And I showed my dad all of the comments and what people wrote. He says, you are all hilarious and appreciate you all. He was laughing at all the stuff I should do at the wedding. My dad and I sat my mum and sister down just so I could explain to her that I won't be her maid of honor as it's a big responsibility and it should be in the hands of an adult instead of a 16 year old. Although she tried to convince me further, I still said no. She starts growling at me saying I was ruining her wedding and that her and her fiance went out of their way to buy me a gift, which was her proposal box to me. Unfortunately, my mum and sister started telling me how cruel it was to ruin a wedding and that it's not about me, it's about the bride. My dad ended up arguing with my mum about how it isn't cruel and no 16 year old should have to plan and help organize a wedding as that is what maid of honors do and it would be stressful and should go to an adult instead. My mum started arguing with him about how it's not my day as I already had mine and I should go forward with my sister's plan as it's about her and not me. My dad brought the birthday up and argued with my mum and sister that she ruined my birthday and if she didn't try to make it all about herself, we wouldn't be arguing. I don't want to go into too much detail of what went down, but basically my sister started crying and my mum called me a brat and a disgrace and how I've officially ruined my bitchy sister's wedding. I'm now staying at my grandparents' house until things cool down at home. I don't think they will, to be honest. Since my mum tells me that any chance she gets, I'm a brat and a horrible sister for not helping my big sister out for a special day. My dad is with my mum trying to sort her out and my grandparents, my mum's parents, are talking with her as my dad told them what happened. I'm not going to be a maid of honor nor her bridesmaid since she's a dick. I'm not sure if I even go to her wedding. I'll just see what my dad thinks about it. My grandparents, my dad's parents who I'm staying with at the moment, are talking to my dad about considering divorcing or taking a break from my mum. as she and my sister are creating a toxic environment for him and I to live in and that after all these years they see no reason for him to live with such a woman. I don't really know what to think about it and I feel kind of lost, but I thought I'd update you all. Opie then comments saying, yep, my dad has my SSI card as well as my birth certificate and my passport is in my room at home. Anything else that may be important should be around the house, but I'm sure he knows where they all are. A commenter says, certainly didn't see that coming. I'm actually surprised that your mum and sister would be putting so much pressure on you to be the maid of honor. Doesn't your sister have an actual friend to do the job? What's with your other grandparents? They beating up on you too. Opie replies saying, my sister's a bitch. No wonder no one else wants to be a maid of honor. I'm sure she'll find someone else, but my other grandparents think my mum and her are in the wrong as they shouldn't force a 16 year old into being a maid of honor. They live out of town, which is why I'm not staying with them. A commenter says, I'm wondering, does she still want you to be the maid of honor? Opie says, she still wants me to be her maid of honor, but that's a huge responsibility for a 16 year old and it would be better in the hands of an adult. I don't think we have any ongoing competition, but she may think otherwise. There is an update in the comments, but I'll edit the post as well. And I found the manipulation at the end there really interesting that they're saying now OP is ruining the wedding because they won't be made of honor, which I just find incredibly awful. But at the same time, it was a big twist at the end there, which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting her to be moving out of the house and potentially divorce going on now as well. But what do you guys make of this one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from Father of the Bride, who says, am I the arsehole for not paying for my daughter's wedding because she invited my brother and his family? I'm 46 male, my brother 48 male. When I was 20, my then girlfriend cheated with my brother. I was heartbroken and pissed. I told him he is no longer my brother. Despite my request, my family didn't cut him off, so I told them that I will never again be in the same place as he is. If they wish to invite both, then they should just invite him as I am the one given the ultimatum. My daughter is getting married in spring next year. In our culture, both parents are paying for the wedding, 50-50. Unexpectedly, my daughter sat me down and told me that she'd be inviting my brother and his family. He married my cheating ex. Apparently, she was seeing them for the last four years and built a relationship behind my back. She even wants her cousin to be some kind of flower girl. I was pissed. I told her what my boundaries are and if my brother is invited, then I will not play my part of the wedding. She became angry and told me it's time to let go of the past. I told her it's not her call to make. 
We argued some more and she told me that I'm making a wedding about myself. I told her I will probably not even attend it so it will all be about her. She left crying. My ex-wife called me screaming and told me that I'm a huge asshole and her daughter is crushed. Then my parents called, same thing. I told them off and now I'm ignoring their calls. My girlfriend told me to reconsider and apologize. That by not paying and attending, I will break relationships with my daughter. I don't know. I think my boundaries should be respected. Am I an asshole for that? And this one was sent to me because there was a mixed bag of comments. So we're going to start off with Mid-Century Mayhem, who says most of us have people in our lives who have hurt us deeply. And many of us are exposed to those from time to time. When you hold a grudge you can't get past, the person you are hurting is yourself. Most of the time, the damage is only to you. The other person isn't truly affected, so in the long run, it doesn't matter. However, you're allowing a quarter century old grudge to potentially come between you and your daughter. It won't be her fault, it will be yours. The injury was not done to her and you have no right to dictate her relationships with other people. She doesn't and can't understand. You are within your rights to withhold funds and sever your relationship with your daughter, but in the end, it will not be worth it. You would be the asshole if you let this come between you. Pay for your daughter's wedding and go and show your love and support. No one else there matters. K14 says, I'll be the unpopular one and say everyone sucks here. Yes, what your brother did was unbelievably shitty. But if you still can't coexist in the same room after this long? I'm not even saying talking to each other. You need some serious professional help. It's her big day. Come on, you shouldn't be punishing her for something she didn't do, especially when she's an adult. On the other hand, while your daughter has the right to a relationship with her uncle, she really shouldn't have hid this from you as this excludes you from having time to repair. If she told you earlier, you could have got the help before now knowing it would be a problem. That's the only reason I think everyone sucks here. But it's still way more you as the asshole by her. The hammer says gonna go with no one's an asshole here. You're a shit father though. But that's not what the sub is about. It's her wedding and she wants you there. If you cannot out aside an old family treachery for your own daughter for one day, then I wonder what priority your daughter has been throughout her life. She can invite who she wants. You can decide to not go. None of this makes anyone an asshole. Ashura Rathalos says, Yo, what the fuck is happening on Reddit today, man? Not the asshole all the way. This is one of those stories where your daughter has decided that she's willing to alienate you for someone that betrayed your trust. It doesn't matter if it was 20 years ago. It only matters that it happened, which thereby means she betrayed your trust. If she wants him there so bad, he can pay the half. Also, it's okay that she has a relationship. It's okay she wants her cousin in it. It's not okay that she wants you to pay half for a wedding so a person that truly hurt you can participate in it as well. While I'm fully supporting you standing your ground, just remember, if you stand here, you will miss out on her potential kids. If you stand here, you'll miss out on her potential kids, birthday parties, and other family events because your family will truly cut you off. If you're okay with that, do so. ETA. Actually, I still wouldn't pay since there's so much secrecy. I bet you'll pay and your brother will still show up regardless. The Michael Kemp says, here's a very unpopular not the asshole. I don't understand why your daughter decided to connect with somebody who betrayed their father. How much drama would it have been to let sleeping dogs lie? I know a lot of people would have gotten over this betrayal, but you're entitled to your feelings. Still, if this causes an irreparable rift between you and your daughter of being right, won't give you much comfort. Kurt says, not the asshole, not the asshole, not the asshole, not the asshole. The people around you need a reality check. Ask your daughter if her fiance cheated on her tomorrow, moved on with her affair partner, and you decided to stay close with him, if she'd be okay with it. It's so easy for everyone to judge you when they're not in your shoes. And in terms of the money, tradition or not, it's yours and you can do with it as you please. In my tradition, the parents pay for the weddings too, but there is no way I'm letting my parents spend the hard-earned money on my wedding when they already worked hard to give me the life I have now. Not every tradition is meant to be followed. And KDH says, not the arsehole, but be prepared to continue be bombarded with messages indicating otherwise. You set a boundary that you are simply maintaining, nothing more. You even made people aware, so none of this should be a shock to any of them. But out of respect for your daughter's wedding, you decided not to attend in order to avoid the issue with your brother and to avoid making the wedding about you and him. I applaud you. That's a hard decision to make. I'm going to have one more comment from Apprehensive Secret 2 who says not the arsehole. If those are your hard boundaries, those are your hard boundaries. However, consider what you are doing. Your daughter should not get to dictate when or if 
who should let go of the past, but she is well within her rights to invite whomever she wants to her wedding and build a relationship with her uncle if she chooses to. And you're within your right to not pay and not attend. An invitation is not a summons and a cultural expectation is not an invoice. However, she's also within her right to cut you off forever after this. This may mean that you will not be invited to any more events related to your daughter. You may lose the privilege of seeing or holding your grandchildren till they are an adult. The thing with boundaries is that they're okay to expect other people to respect your boundaries. It's not okay to expect other people to rearrange their lives according to your boundaries. So consider if you're okay with the possibility being no contact with your daughter. If you are, great. You do you. If you aren't, it's time to reconsider whether or not being in the same room as your brother, you have no requirement to acknowledge their existence or do anything but be neutral to them. It's worth sacrificing your relationship with your daughter. And I wanted to read that final comment because it's kind of the way that I was thinking, although, you know, that comment put it 10 times better, million times better, if you like, than I would have been able to put it. In that OP is allowed to have their boundaries, but unfortunately, it may come at a cost to OP as well. I would like to think if I was in OP's daughter's shoes, I would see, you know, I would see my father's perspective and where he's coming from here and, and understand, you know, he wouldn't want to be there with someone who's betrayed you and hurt you, even if it was, you know, 20 odd years ago, that's still a boundary that, that OP has in place. And I agree that with that comment that the daughter should be able to have who she wants at her wedding, etc. So unfortunately for OP, if he wants to go down the road of going no contact with the daughter, it's going to come at a cost, which I think is just very, very sad. But then there was a lot of people talking about the money side of things as well, saying she's only in it for the money, etc. But now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation? What would you do if you was OP? Would you not go to that wedding at the cost of potentially losing a relationship with your daughter, potential grandkids, etc.? Or would you be able to, do you think you may be able to attend that wedding? I guess it's difficult to say not being in OP shoes, but how do you feel in that? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, support, and time as always means the absolute world to me. Thank you so, so much. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Take care and much love. Yeah, man, I remember being so naive when life was good, weather and palm trees. Back in the day, you were everything I need. But then along came a time when you crushed my dreams Oh yeah, you played me like a fool When you made me believe that the line between love wasn't thick enough to read Oh yeah, you see we in the spare crime everywhere You're selling false hope cause you just don't care Nah, uh, you just don't care Nah, 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 you just don't, just don't care Uh, you just don't Still selling false hope cause you just don't care House, house, house